Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlitz and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without to cost you anything extra, and all the links they'll be in the description together with some timestamps so they can jump to the point of your preference. And first we have Primal Quest Essentials by Diogo Old School Nogueira, a member of RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. This is a game of weird stone and sorcery adventures in a mythical world where humanity lives or more survives alongside dinosaurs, aliens and creatures more ancient than the world itself. It uses only the sixes, the six-sided die, with different degrees of success, consequences, narrative control and also it has rules for resource management and all that jazz. Another interesting point for me is the open magic system, which encourages people to be creative and even sometimes naive, making sorcery powerful even if costly. The game already comes with an SRD and a compatibility license and logo as well. SRD, the system reference document so that you can create content based on the system, and it also has an introductory adventure, The Cave of Our People. On top of that, the title brings some other amazing creators from RPG Latam, as Guilherme Guntiju, that I mentioned here several times, but also Felipe Faria and Fernando Salvaterra. Check it out on itch.io. We also would like to mention Immune by Basilisk Online. It is a fast-paced action packet game based on the Lumen engine, that we already mentioned here plenty of times, and this one particularly was inspired by games like Left 4 Dead and Zombicide, you know, the video game and the board game. You are an immune and a survivor of the zombie plague that broke the world. The characters are empowered by their weapons. Each weapon will provide different maneuvers and abilities of sorts to what would be the most similar to classes in the traditional RPGs. And then you are out in the wild to try and fend for yourself and protect all the other ones that you care about. Another release this week is the pre-order of the Sun King's Palace by Bats, or John Thomas Battle. This mega dungeon is on pre-order on the Nerves store and it is an attempt by Bats to keep going outside of Kickstarter for a kind of crowdfunding. The game is in pre-order so it is a pseudo crowdfunding as if it reaches the goal it will be made available at a higher quality. The Mega Dungeon itself takes you exploring the last relic of the second sun in this world. What can it hide inside this crumbling tower? Explore and find out. And you still have a couple of days to buy the Kiwi RPG Week Bundle 2022 by the Kiemu Fakatao o Aetaroa, which I hope that I do not, did not butcher too much, which is an on the, which is on its first Kiwi RPG week. It is presenting the first Kiwi RPG bundle. It features 12 games by 11 designers showcasing a range of Kiwi made games. So you should definitely check it out. And Big Bad Con Online 2022 is happening this weekend on the 6th and 7th of May. As with last year, it will be 24 hours of stream, starting at 17.30 Pacific time on the 6th and finishing 18 o'clock on the 7th. For Central Europeans, it means something around 2.30 in the morning on the 7th and 3 in the morning on the 8th. You have plenty of amazing people invited and some very interesting and informative panels, so make sure to check it out and also consider supporting the organization if you have the means to do so. And on gems, it is a pseudo gem as well, but that needs to be mentioned. It is the bundle for reproductive rights gem. The gem will be converted into a bundle for easy purchasing from the submissions that are in it. You still have some days to try and add your titles to it if you so want to. The gem page describes it in greater details, but basically the motivation for the bundle comes from the apparently imminent ruling against the decision of Roe vs Wade on the United States, which guarantees the right to abortion there. All proceeds from this bundle will be donated to non-profits 
that protect the rights of people to choose what happens to their own bodies, such as Planned Parenthood, for instance. So you still have some days, go check it out, read carefully and submit one of your titles to it and to this bundle if you so want to. And on articles and threads, this article by Marcia on the Chiquita Fajida blog talking about proceduralism. As always, it goes directly in depth starting from the simple definition of the term proceduralism and going through examples on how it is and how it can be used in practice and what is the theory behind it as well. A very interesting read if you ask me and it has some examples from games that are already out. Another interesting read is this thread by Cat Elm on community copies, what they are, how to sell or set them, and why some people may prefer it over other options of providing games for free, like free, exactly, or pay what you want. I am a fan of community copies and I really think that they are great and they help the community, so I would encourage you to read about it, get informed about it, and perhaps even use it on your own creations. For this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works, let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about the series, and I will, you can pay me a copy, uh, coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on itch.io, and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!